Thank you, and welcome back to the, uh, second, the, the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Dr. Uh, Leonard Madu, and the uh, topic is the, from revolution to uh, nuclear ambition, uh, the uh, country of Iran. And of course, Dr. Madu, let, let's uh, yes. finish that uh, mm -hmm. conversation. There. Now, like, like, like I was saying, uh, when, when the Iraq Iranian revolution came into being, it became a threat to the Iraqi government. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Iraqi government is a secular, Baptist state, mm. which means Saddam Hussein didn't care which religion you went, mm -hmm. you know, you belong to, as far as you know, preaching on the streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he had, he told everybody, Catholic, Muslim, whatever, mm -hmm. go to mosque, pray, but don't stay on the street and preach to anybody. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. He wants everybody just to be mm -hmm. the same. He doesn't want any religious problem. And understandably, too, mm -hmm. because the two holiest shrines of the Shiite is based in Iraq, mm -hmm. in Najaf and Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. And that would be a source of problem for his regime, mm -hmm. knowing that almost, you know, 60% of his population is Shiite, mm -hmm. the same number that predominates in, in Iran. Mm -hmm. So after this, you know, Khomeini started preaching against Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. He never forgot the slight, like I said mm -hmm. before, being kicked out mm -hmm. of Iraq by Saddam Hussein. And Iraq used it, you know, as an excuse, mm -hmm. even though they've been preparing for long Mm -hmm. to attack Iran in order to forestall, mm -hmm. you know. However, the Iraqis say, well, what precipitated the direct attack was the assassination attempt against Tariq Aziz mm -hmm. by an Iraqi group called Al Dawa mm -hmm. that was sponsored and paid by the Iranians. Mm -hmm. Of course, the government of the United States and most European countries wanted Saddam Hussein to, mm -hmm. to attack Iran mm -hmm. anyway mm -hmm. in order to stop the revolution, you know, mm -hmm. from, from moving. Mm -hmm. Why? In 1953, we remember, you know, the okay. CIA mm -hmm. helped orchestrate the coup that they overthrew Dr. Mohammed Mossadegh, mm -hmm. who was a, you know, a popular Iranian prime minister, and installed the Shah back to power. The mm -hmm. Shah had already been mm -hmm. overthrown. Mm -hmm. He left and he was in Rome. So the CIA did all this. So the Iranians never forgot okay, that the, role mm -hmm. played by the United States mm -hmm. in 53. Mm -hmm. And that you think that that's still having an impact on uh, our policy now? Up to today, yes. They, 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 they still think, mm -hmm. you know, there's always some behind everything the United States does mm -hmm. on the border. Mm -hmm. And of course, one would say, well, before, why was Iran, you know, not flexing its muscles around? Mm -hmm. And that comes to 1970, you know, the, the Gulf War. You remember mm -hmm. that after the Gulf War, mm -hmm. George Bush said, you know, hey, we've, we've accomplished what the UN resolution said. Mm -hmm. Go to Kuwait, kick Iraq out, and mm -hmm. leave them. Mm -hmm. Okay, a lot of people say, why didn't you go to Baghdad mm -hmm. and complete the job? Overthrow Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. and all this. But George Bush and his advisors, and Colin Powell, who mm -hmm. was Joint Chief of Staff, and the rest said, oh, no, let's leave Saddam Hussein there. You know, mm -hmm. he's being contained, mm -hmm. but at the same time, he's a good instrument mm -hmm. to keep an eye on yeah, the Iranians. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as much as he's in power, mm -hmm. the Iranians are not going to do anything foolish because mm -hmm. they're always worried about what Saddam Hussein is going to mm -hmm. do next. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. But when, when we went in there and overthrew Saddam Hussein, okay. we freed the Iranians to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Hezbollah in Lebanon got stronger because the, the, the Iranians, we are financing them. Mm -hmm. Remember that Lebanon, about 35% of Lebanon is Shiite. Mm -hmm. And Hezbollah is also a Shiite Mm. you know, group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you free the Shias in Iraq that Saddam Hussein contained. Mm -hmm. Now you have 60% of the Shias in Iraq mm -hmm. and those in Iran teaming up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody to control them. Mm -hmm. okay. So in a way now we're talking about, okay, Iran, Iran wants to build a nuclear bomb. Iran, if Saddam Hussein was there, okay, okay, there will be, you know, Iraq, Iranians will be busy mm -hmm. trying to build up their conventional weapons and mm -hmm. all this to face Iraq mm -hmm. than even focusing on the nuclear okay. Mm -hmm. okay, All the money and all this that they are putting there now mm -hmm. will be used to, for some else to defend themselves against Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. So there's a real, there, there was always a real belief that... Uh,